So, you want to know how to make some lightning in Blender? Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at some lightning, some flashes of the light. So, we're back once again. Uh, we're going to get started real quick. I'm going to delete default cube with the delete key. So sad. We're going to hit Shift A and add in a mesh cylinder. And then we're going to go ahead and before we move anything around, before we click anything, we're going to go on down here to add cylinder. And we're going to turn down the radius to about uh, point maybe 0 0.05, I think it was, yeah, 0 0.05, uh, and the vertices on 32, that's fine the way it is right there. So, now we can go ahead and enter, get rid of that, well, you can click somewhere and get rid of that, rather, and uh, what we're going to do is go uh, scroll on in with my mouse wheel here, zoom in and out, hold down shift and middle mouse click to pan around my scene, hit tab to go into edit mode, we're going to go up to face select up at the top up here, and we're going to zoom on in here and grab that top face right there, click that bad boy. Now, what we can do here is we can do a couple of things. We can go ahead and hit G to move this downward and roll to the side. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure this is like super random, super crazy, because um, because that's what the way lightning is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit G to move that and left click to confirm that, E to extrude, and then uh, left click to confirm, and then we're going to hit G to move around. So we're just going to go ahead and do this a couple of times. E to extrude, G to move it around, up and up until I have uh, what I want all the way up. So we're just going to vary this a little bit, make it a little bit crazy, you know, maybe uh, some some sh sharper angles, you know, I'll make it curve over a little bit because, you know, lightning sometimes does do that. Uh, something like that, maybe. That's good. I like it. Now, what we can do is we can uh, we can do one of, one of two things. We can either go out of this by hitting tab, so now we have that as an object, and we can hit shift D to duplicate this, and then just R, Y to rotate it, and G to move it on over and we can just like connect these two but you can see they they look kind of similar so I wouldn't really recommend doing that to get the most variation we'll just go ahead and create another one so we hit delete on that one and then we can just hit uh, shift A add in another uh, cylinder make sure it's the same exact settings which it is we'll hit G to move it over G X to move it over on the X axis and do the same thing so tab we go into edit mode we'll grab that top face only hit G to move it down and then E to extrude it over and over again. All right, there we go. So now we have three different pieces. Of course, if you want to do a lot more pieces of lightning, you're going to do want to do a lot more of these. But we'll grab this smaller one, hit Shift D to duplicate it, and we'll move it on over here. Um, now, I want to make sure this looks like it's coming out of this piece. So we'll go ahead and hit R, Y to rotate it a little bit. And we'll try and line up this end piece inside of the lightnings here. So I'll zoom in a little bit, hit G to move it around. And I think that looks like it's in there, right? Well, make sure all sides. Nice. So now we have this kind of piece coming off of the lightning here. Uh, and now to the way we're going to merge these, we're going to hold down Shift and select both of them. Go to the Modifiers tab here. Add Modifier and Boolean. Now we're going to change this operation from Difference to Union. And we're going to we're going to grab um, one of these cylinders. So this name over here, uh, the one that we're not... See, we put the modifier on the big one, so we have to select the third one, select the small one, which is the third one, and make sure we know what the name is, which is cylinder three. We can call this small, and we can call this, no, we can call this big. Forget those other two cylinders for now. We don't need those. Those are just duplicates. I'm going to go back to our modifier, which is this bad boy, and select the object of small. Now, when we go ahead and hit apply, you can see if I select this small one, we don't need that anymore, hit delete. Now you can see on the big one, now they are they are combined. So now we have that, which is nice. And what we can do now is, let's get, actually get rid of both of these. We can go ahead and just, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hit uh, G to move them over and hit H to hide them because I don't need them. But like I said, you'll do more of them if you want more of them. Uh, hit R, X, 180 to flip it uh, completely upside down. And then G, Z to move it on up and left click to confirm all of that as you can uh, tell. So now we have a pretty randomized looking thing, which is nice. So you can see if I looked out from the top here, um, it's uh, it's really randomized, really crazy. And we can do an even more randomization by going ahead and going to the modifier tab and adding in a displacement modifier. And then going to the texture tab down here all the way at the bottom, hitting new, and changing this from image or movie to cloud. We go to the mo uh, modifiers tab once again. And uh, scroll up, oh, we already added it, never mind. <laughs> we can go ahead and, and select the texture, which is that bad boy right there. And now we can change the strength. We don't want to do it too much because you don't want to get that. But you can just change it ever so slightly, just like that. Just get a little bit of variation in there. And now we can do this really easily by dragging up from the bottom here. Dra open and split in our window into two. Going over to the, uh, to the graph editor. And then inserting a keyframe by hovering our cursor over top of the strength of displacement. We can hit I on our keyboard to insert a keyframe. Um, and now, 
if we oh, well, if I grab the uh, if I grab the lightning you can see we have a strength displace over here which is nice we can drag open from the right hand side over here and open up the modifiers inside of the graph editor add a modifier of noise and now you can see this noise will very slightly change this so we go ahead and change the strength now it will change a lot we can change the scale too if you want to make it quicker or not as quick but this is lightning so I want it to be like super fast crazy jumbly so we'll do like point maybe point one or maybe that's too fast we'll do point two eh, sure that looks fine I think I like the way that looks it looks pretty good just a little bit of randomization we can close that now uh, and now what we can do is we can actually animate the uh, lightning itself. So I'll go to the first frame. Um, actually, I'll go to the 20th frame. And I'll hit I, Scaling. Then I'll go to the 1, 2, 3 on my arrow keys. Uh, to the 23rd frame, hit I, Scaling. Then we'll go 1 away from that. So on 24, we'll hit S, 0 to scale it by 0. And then I, Scaling. And then right before our first keyframe, you can see uh, on frame 20. So on frame 19, I'm going to go ahead and hit S, 0. Just scale it 0 on the, on, the, on the nothing axis. We're just scaling it to 0. <laughs> we'll hit I, scaling. to So now we have it going from nothing to something. And then we have it staying for 3 frames or so. And then going back to nothing. So if I play this, you can see uh, that that's still, it lasts on the screen a little bit too long. But it looks, it looks pretty good so far. So I want to go ahead and move these two keyframes up. So we'll hold down Shift, select both of these. Hit G to move it up. And we'll just leave one frame in the middle. So this is no frames. We'll just leave one frame in the middle there so it has a little, a little buffer. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, now you can slow it down. You can speed it up if you want to by just moving these keyframes together all the way. Oh, no, not all the way, but right there. So now that has, that there's no frames in the middle where it stays. That's a little quicker. I think I might like that better, actually. We'll leave that. I'll go to the Material tab here. And we will go to render viewport shading right now by hitting this little rendered up there. I will go ahead and delete the lamp because we don't need that. And uh, grab the lightning. Uh, hit this little drop down and select the, the default material. We'll go ahead and change this from principal BSDF to, of course, emission. And then we'll change the base color to a very slightly blue color like that. Right? If I zoom in, you see that color right there. And then we'll change the strength to something crazy like maybe we'll do 50 to start off with and then we'll go ahead and go to the scene tab the render tab sorry and turn bloom on now you can see what we got here which looks awesome in the world tab we'll go ahead and change the color from gray to black and now we are all set to go I'm gonna turn my overlays off by hitting this little button right here and then we can go ahead and turn the uh, color a little bit more blue and maybe the value a little bit more up now you can animate the the uh, strength of the emission as well so on frame 20 maybe I want it to be less bright like uh, actually, well, maybe I want it to be more bright, so we'll do like 500 almost, and then I to, to enter the keyframe. And then by the time it ends on frame 22, and maybe I'm going to put it on like 30 value, right? And then hit I. Uh, so now you can see it gets brighter. It's super bright right there, and then it goes down a lot. But I want this to be even lower, so maybe we'll do a keyframe there instead. Yeah, so it kind of just pops in really bright. I like that. And you can also even cheat a little bit more and grab the scaling keyframes so now because these are right next to each other so the scale zero and the scale regular is right next to each other they're kind of just popping in you can also drag these one away from each other to make a nice little uh, kind of fast scaling kind of thing going on so if I if I play this now you can see it kind of like looks like it's it's kind of building which is what lightning does which is cool so it kind of just comes up from that to and then it goes into that which is pretty nice um, now if you go frame by frame, you can see that it just looks like it's scaling down. So we can fix this really easily by going ahead and just rotating it right here. So if I go ahead and insert a keyframe when it actually gets to its full scale, we'll hit I, rotation, and then we'll do the same thing on this keyframe, I, rotation. And then on these two, so right in the middle of this and this piece right here, I'll hit R, Z, 180 to rotate it, and then hit I, rotation. And we'll just select this keyframe and then shift D to duplicate it and put it right over here. So now if I, if I go through this, you see it looks like it's kind of just, you know, a little bit more random than it was before. It doesn't look like it was just scaled down and then just gets bigger. So that looks really cool. I like it. It looks really random. looks really lightning-y. Um, so that is pretty much our lightning. Like I said, if you want, I actually want to boost the emission value back up for this smaller piece right here because I think that's a little too low. Um, and all the different lightnings you make uh, can all be different and very easy. It's very easy to customize, but I'll see you boys and girls in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.